I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Don Young. He is president and CEO at Aspen Aerogels. Don, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Judy, for having us. So, mm. Don, tell me about Aspen Aerogels and the markets and customers you serve. Thank you. Yes, we are a material science company. We've been a public company since the summer of 2014. Uh, we um, are centered on a technology platform that we refer to as our aerogel technology platform. And our strategy is to leverage that platform into large, important markets, especially those with sustainability themes. Uh, we started off in more traditional energy, uh, refineries, petrochemical plants, LNG terminals around energy efficiency, asset protection and safety, in particular fire safety. And that has led us into our second large market, which is to provide thermal barriers in the electric, uh, electric vehicle market, uh, lithium ion batteries um, to provide battery safety and performance. Okay, so you mentioned the electric vehicle thermal barrier market. Um, tell me more about that and tell me why is this such a large opportunity for your company? Well, we believe that all um, electric vehicles will have thermal barriers uh, in them going forward. Uh, we're working uh, with General Motors and Toyota. Um, we've announced those uh, wins. We're designed into the Ultium battery platform for, for General Motors. And we're talking to almost all of their peer companies around the world um, to provide this safety and performance enhancement into their, into their battery systems. So it, we believe it's a large, important market we are right in the middle of electrification and sustainability uh, more broadly. So we couldn't be more excited about, uh, about the market going forward. All right, and Don, tell me, why do you think investors should be interested in your company? Well, we have a proven technology. We're working with the largest companies um, in, the, in the world today. We are growing very rapidly. We committed to growing, uh, doubling our revenue from 2021 to 2023 and tripling our revenue from 2023 to 2025 to over $700 million. Uh, we are becoming uh, EBITDA positive um, here in Q4 and looking forward into 2024. So we, we're just at this really important pivot point, not just for our company, but for electrification and sustainability more broadly. All right, well, Don, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. My pleasure, thanks for having me.